Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Jamie Leary talked to people getting the Moderna vaccine at a drive through in Summit County. Jamie, people 70 and older started going through today. Yeah, and Summit County is one of the first counties in the state to put a plan in motion for its 70 plus population. A great way to start the new year. The local Safeway and City Market have also partnered with the county to help administer vaccines, but here is where most people come to get the first dose right from the comfort of their car. They drive through and, and it's all appointment based right now and they get their shot, they're on their way. Summit County didn't expect extra doses, but had a system ready to go. After 10 months, that, it? that was it. The 70 plus group is on its way to being vaccinated. This really is the first time that there is a tangible uh, positive and something that, that we can see is going to get us out of this. At 98, Ann McCrary is looking forward to getting back to the simple things. I like traveling. I like being able to go out in the community, say hello to my neighbors. There are 814 doses to give out to the 70 plus group. Thursday, more than 300 were administered. The orange one is your reminder for a, four weeks from now to come back and get your second dose. In a converted bus bay, the operation is smooth. No pain, no, nothing. No. Don't be afraid of the shot. The county is also finishing vaccinations for some very excited frontline workers. This is amazing. I'm feel proud to get this vaccine. More doses are expected weekly, but the quantity isn't certain. One of the things that we are required to do is go through our allotment of vaccine that we receive in order to place additional orders to get additional vaccines in. For now, Summit County is one step closer to protecting its highest risk community members. It really is a much needed morale boost for all of us. And there are around 3,000 people in that 70 plus age group here in Summit County. And until the county gets through that group, as well as remaining frontline workers, it says it won't be taking any new groups. Live in Frisco, Jamie Leary, CBS4 Mountain Newsroom.